Yo, what's good guys? Spat Music Production here from Producers Buzz. These were the suggestions that you guys posted last week that you wanted to see this week. And we've gone with Travis Scott. So, we're going to be turning the vocals, guys, from sounding like this. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. You're not around, yeah. And you keep lying. I get those goosebumps too, sounding like this. Yeah. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. You're not around, yeah. And you keep lying. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. You're not around, yeah. You put me to the side and yeah. Have production, ha. Apple Studio preset. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah And I don't find you And I don't Hey So Hey, what's up guys? Today, I'm gonna be teaching you how to turn your voice To sound like Travis Scott In FL Studio Hey, You know how it goes So first of all What do we do to sound like Travis Scott? Pretty simple We are gonna have three different effects here one, two, three. As you can see, the first effect on here is the main record. I'm actually giving you a live stream here of how it is. So the first recording port, we're gonna have fruity multi-band compressor. And as you can see, what it does is it turns my voice from sounding like this to sounding like this. So on here, what you're gonna have to do is change few frequencies on a low band, mid band, and a high band. So if you look up here on the hint panel, it will tell you exactly the frequencies I'm using. So if you guys look up, you can also see it up there. So the threshold is 18 dB. The ratio, well, uh, minus 18 dB, should I say. The ratio is 201. The knee is 80%, the attack over here is 10 milliseconds, the release 100 milliseconds, and again 1.1 decibels. And this gives us the same kind of tone that Travis Scott uses on his low band frequencies. Then the mid band here, we've got the threshold set to uh, minus 5.3, the ratio 211, knee 84%, the attack at 10 milliseconds the release at 100 milliseconds and again at 10.4 decibels and this gives us this kind of you know similar very very similar mid kind of frequency that um, that Travis Scott uses and that's what we want we want to start with the right frequency and in the high band we're using this very very well almost same identical uh, frequency that Travis Scott uses on his high bands with the threshold minus 18 0.0 dB ratio 211 the knee 80% attack 10 milliseconds release 100 milliseconds and again 5.7 now the gain can be uh, higher towards 6 and 6.3 but it depends on your voice if your voice is quite low then turn it up if your voice is quite high like mine then turn it down towards the middle towards 5 so the higher your pitch is the more you're going to turn it down basically so that's that and then we're going to add sound good on top and we're going to just throw that on and as you can see what it does is it livens up the um, the frequencies of it basically saturates the vocals and uh, you got three different bands you got the A you got the B you got the C and you got the D for Travis Scott type of effect we're going to be using the mode D and we're also going to be using this at 75% input just around here anywhere doesn't matter it's perfect just like that and that gives us the right kind of uh, frequency now we're going to be using auto tune and we've got Antares auto tune as you can see and we just basically set this to alter antenna at the side uh, you guys can use low low mal if you want to uh, it also sounds the same but I, I like using the alter antenna uh, it just gives us the more of like um, let me just turn this stuff so it gives us a more of like a Travis Scott kind of sound and then what we do on top of here is we turn this up to maximum 
humanize it to 51% and then we find the right scale major whatever scale will ever be major or minor and in this case this is major A and that's what we selected on the side here you can select the right scale uh, to meet the track and you just leave it like that pitch amount 18 and the amplitude is 10 which is default just leave it like that and that is it that is like the main kind of you know that is like the main uh, effect on the auto tune to get this effect obviously then we've got the once we record it we're gonna actually record in this settings like this so we're gonna start off we're recording like this so i get those good times every time yeah. you come around yeah i'm way too numb yeah you know something like that so i just make that up and then we're gonna post production it so once we record the vocals let me just do a quick test Okay, quick test, yeah. I get those goose from the time, yeah. You come around, yeah. I'm way too numb, yeah. Now, obviously, this might be a little bit off because I just done it really quick, and the microphone. The microphone has got a little bit of delay on it, so it might be a little bit off, but this is just to show you how to actually add the effects. So this is what it's gonna sound like. I get those goose from the time, yeah. You come around, yeah. I'm way too numb, yeah. Okay, so that sounds alright. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the effect. So we're gonna click on this, okay? And we're basically gonna trim the ends and we're gonna copy it twice in our channel that's what we've got up here right we've got it twice so we can get rid of this because this was like the you know just show you the version but it's without any effects so we've got it there twice just like that right so what we do is we're gonna click on the first one at the top that you record and you're gonna set this okay make, make it unique so you will see one of them will have hashtag 2 at the end and one of them won't which means now we can put this one in channel 2 and we can put the one at the bottom just double click on there to channel 3 just like that and let me just turn the uh, sound good eyes off so this sounds good <laughs> and once we do that uh, we'll have two different channels playing so when we go into the effects we can see uh, that I get those goose from every time yeah you come around yeah I'm way too numb yeah so then we have to add the right effects so I'm going to set the main vocals to channel 11 and the reverb to channel 12. So let's do that. So set this to channel 11 and set the reverb to channel 12. So we've got two vocals on here and we just split the channel one into the reverb only. Let's go. Let's go. See that? And we got one just for the vocals. I get those goose from the time, yeah. You come around, yeah. I'm way too numb, yeah. Uh, just like this. I get those goose from the time, yeah. You come around, yeah. I'm way too numb, yeah. Obviously, this is the original. I get those goose from every time, yeah. You're not around, yeah. And you keep lying. So obviously I put more effort into the singing and stuff, so that's what you're going to get. This is just a quick test and it's a little bit off, so I do apologise. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove this now and we're going to work with the top, okay? So this is what we got. We got the 11, which is up here, you guys, which we record, and you got the reverb, which is 12. So we got the 11 and 12, you guys will have any numbers, it doesn't matter, as long as one is the main vocals and one is on the actual reverb, which is what we've got over here. So I'm going to mute the reverb for now, and we're going to work with the main vocals. So on the main vocals, this is what it will sound like once we put it into the channel. I get those good times every time, yeah. So what we're going to have to do is add Fruity Multiband Compressor, and again, we're going to use different settings just to finish off um, adjusting the frequencies. So the threshold on the low band is minus 19.4 dB, ratio 211, knee 80%, attack 0 0.1 milliseconds, release 100 milliseconds, gain minus 7.0 decibels. Now we're compressing this again, so we 
recorded the vocals, we got the auto tune on, and now we add another compression on top. So we're really, really editing those vocals to get that, you know, Travis Scott kind of effect, and that's what we're doing. So on the mid band uh, here, the threshold fit minus 15.3. Ratio 211, knee is 80%, attack 0 0.1 millisecond, release 100 milliseconds, and the gain is 7 decibels. The threshold on the high band, guys, here is 18 decibels, ratio 211, and the knee 80%, attack 0 0.1 milliseconds, release 100 milliseconds, and gain 6.6 .6 decibels. So that's that, and that's what it does. It just makes the vocals go from this. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. To this. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. You're not around, yeah. And you keep lying. Can you hear that? It just adds that extra touch to the um to to the mid band here, and just a little bit to the um, high band just kind of makes it perfect of what we need and then we have Panagement 2 on here now you guys you can use it on the main vocals if you don't want to do the reverb but what I would recommend is not using the reverb on the main vocals so delete that and make sure you don't use any reverb on the main vocals you're gonna use reverb on a reverb okay I'll put that there just to show you guys and then we've got the modern deezer on here um, as you can see, and these are the settings we used. Now you guys can go and download Modern Deezer from Producers Buzz. What it does is it gives us the perfect professional kind of vocal frequencies we need to sound like Travis Scott. And that's what we need. So we can go and download it right now. I'm going to show you where you guys can get it. So if you type in Producers Buzz on our website at the top here and click on the side and just type in Modern, can't even spell, but you type in Modern you will see you'll get a little bar come up on the side here click on that and it just takes you to the plugin which is the modern deezer which is what we're using you can just download it from there really really cool plugin and works really really well so this is the plugin that you guys will need so once you get in FL Studio this is what you will have the modern deezer and what you will need to do is set the threshold on here to 0 0.80 so you know you got the hint panel so 0 0.80 on here sorry the ratio is set to uh, 0 0.34 the width is set to 0 0.23 the release on here 0 0.26 the frequency no, 0.50 and the output on here is set to 0 0.60 and this will give us a really nice kind of you know just easing up the vocals check this out what it does turns the vocals from sounding like this I get those goosebumps every time, yeah, you're not around To sounding like this I get those goosebumps every time, yeah, you're not around, yeah And you keep lying I get those goosebumps every time, yeah, you're not around, yeah You put me to the side and Don't know if you guys can hear it but what it does is it removes the harshness in your vocals and just gives you the right frequencies that we need and that is what exactly what we need for this tutorial well that's that's exactly what we need to create travis scott kind of vocal effect in fl studio now you guys can download the effect in more description be on our website and if you guys select downloads vst effects and select vocal effects here vocal presets you will find it on here as you guys can see these are all the vocal presets I have created in the last few months for you and you can download all of them for free so yeah obviously now we've got the main vocals I get those goosebumps. we're gonna have to add some reverb so let's go and add the reverb now for the reverb so this is what the reverb sounds like so to get this effect we added uh, different kind of reverbs and we mix them all together to get that Travis Scott kind of reverb effect now what you will need to do is layer three well four different reverbs to achieve the Travis Scott effect this took me a long time to achieve and to actually play around with it to get the right sound but we managed it in the end so the management 2 is what we're using again you guys can download this if you head over to producers buzz and you click on search and type in pan as a Peter pan pan you will see it'll come up first here and you can go down and download it it'll be in more description as well and that's the, the management too 
Then we've got the fruity, well, let me just show you. That's the management too. And on here, what you will need to do is set it to reverb, heaven, and set the tail, the room tail, down to minus 100%. We don't want any tail on this because we're going to be adding like a tail using the other reverbs. So the room size is set to halfway, just like that. The delay is set halfway, the wetness set halfway, and then you can go in here and move this around. What you want to do is just stick it in here like this. So you want the far to be on 2.2 around here and the pan to be in a zero. So anywhere between 2.21, 2.2 is perfect. I like to keep it there and just keep it the pan at 0.0, .0 just like that. And the amount 100%, no tilt, nothing just keep the same obviously make sure the wetness is halfway size halfway and tell halfway and a delay halfway and you will turn the vocals um from sounding like this let's go, let's go, let's go. now obviously the volume is down to 45 percent i'm going to turn it up just for this tutorial so you guys can hear I get those goosebumps every time, yeah You're not around, yeah And you keep lying So that's what it does, it adds that kind of effect And that's perfect Then what we're going to do is add Fruity Parametric And on here, we're going to change the bands So the first band is going to go to 62 hertz at 61% So just move it down to that second line here Then underneath the second line, the second band 145 hertz at 39% The third band is 2 Nine four hertz at thirty nine percent. Just on that third line right there, sitting there. On that third line again is the fourth band, uh, six three two hertz at thirty nine percent. Just underneath of the third line, as you guys can see, this is the third line right here. Just underneath the fifth band is one three six three hertz at thirty nine percent. The sixth band is three one one nine hertz at thirty nine percent, and that's just below the fourth line. So the fourth line is here. So in the middle, just there on the high band which we have just down a notch and that's it so obviously we, we uh, moved it up a bit sorry and then six three two four hertz at 61 percent is at 61 uh well hertz at 61 percent which is again just near the, the third line a little bit above not too much you know this is the third line so we just move it a notch just a notch up you know just 1.5 db just like that so that's that's the um fruity parametric and this is what it does i get those goosebumps every time yeah you're not around see that yeah, without it and you keep lying and move it on i get those goosebumps every time yeah you're not around yeah you put me to the side so what it what it does is it enhances the um reverb to what we need it we need that high velocity kind of high frequency kind of notes get rid of the lows make it stand out make it sharp and that's what it does and then fruity reverb 2 we throw that on there with 78 percent input and on here what we do is take the hq cut to uh, basically 4.0 hertz the room size goes halfway 50 and the wetness goes up to 72 percent just like that 71 72 is perfect and this is what it does. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. You're not around, yeah. And you keep lying. And then what we do is we add another reverb on top of that. I can't even talk. Reverb. <laughs> Smash that like. <laughs> okay, so second reverb. And what it is, is uh, we've got the wetness set up to 73%. The dryness, however, 100%. Uh, room size, you know, 50 again. Uh, this time the HQ cut is set to 3.8 hertz, just like that. And the input on here again, 70, 75, you know, 80 percent, just around this kind of figure. So anywhere around here. And then this is what it does. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. You're not. So you can see without these two reverbs. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. You're not around, yeah. And you keep lying. So it gives us that really cool reverb, but we don't know, we're not overdoing it. And then we get the reverb too, and this time the wetness here is turned up to about 71%, and the HQ cut 4.5 hertz, room size 50 again, and what we do is we set this halfway. And what this does is this gives us that perfect halfway kind of reverb that we're looking, that additional reverb that um, Travis Scott liked to use. So there's, you know, there's a shitload of reverb on this, but that's what Travis Scott does, so that's what we've done. <laughs>
<laughs> so yeah, um, and then obviously once we mix them together, this is what we get. I get those good. And obviously turn the volume down to 45% input, around 40 to 45. It's gonna stick it at 45 right there. Again, use the hint panel if you need, and check this out. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. You're not around, yeah, and you keep lying. Now, some of you might be thinking, how did I produce this sound over here? Yeah. All it was uh, is the same sound from the top. So um, this is what it this is what it sounds originally. Yeah. See, no effects, nothing on there. So what I done is I turned it to channel 12. Yeah. And and just took that, set it to sell so it sticks. Click on it, drag down once, just like that, and just clone it and just double it. Yeah. And that's it. We're using the reverb only on this to go yeah. Now if you guys want to make it louder, you can triple it. Yeah. Just like that. I it's get those goosebumps every time, yeah. But two is yeah. you know, it's good enough. You can triple if you want. It stands out a bit more. Yeah. Just like that. It's I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. You're not around, yeah. And you keep lying. Hey, I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. You're not around, yeah. You put me to the side and yeah. Have production, ha. FL Studio preset. Travis Scott, yeah. Ha 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 ha. You know how it goes, guys. So you guys can download these presets. I will save these for you. Alright guys, I want to thank you for watching. Hopefully I taught you something. If you've got any questions, drop them below. Suggestions, again, keep dropping the suggestions. You know how it is. I'm really, really enjoying these tutorials, these vocal presets that I'm creating. I'm learning a lot myself as I do them. Some of them take me a couple of days to get them perfect and get them right for you because I don't want to just release something in a scrap, you know. I'd rather take my time and, and make sure that you guys like it. So I would appreciate that like, that sub and hit the notifications. And just show some love. But apart from that, keep producing. Stay safe. Peace out.